Hi, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how I created this Colocasia plant using Speedtree Cinema 9. This model is think to be used for a realistic render, not for a game engine since the Paul account can be too high due to tessellation. So let's start. The first thing I did was to create a blank scene. Then in the meshes tab I imported this pot you see here. The import window is in my second screen so that's why it's not visible. Then in the Materials tab I imported its texture and in the Cutouts Meshes tab I assigned the pot mesh to this texture. Now in the Nodes window I added a mesh node, here is where I assigned the pot I imported. Here you can edit the parameters like the scale and position of the mesh. Then I added a trunk tube node. In the skin tab you can edit its radius. To have a constant radius you need to set the light blue curve to max. Now, here you can see that the tube is starting on the floor. You can change the height where it starts by going to the gen tab and moving the sync parameter. Here I'm increasing the number of tubes to 6. To make them visible you need to increase the last parameter. In the spine tab you can edit the start angle of this tubes. You can click on the plus minus button on the right to add randomness to this parameter. In this same tab you can change the height of this tubes. Now, I'm importing the stem texture and assigning it to the mesh by dragging it onto it. In the spine tab you can add a gravity force to the mesh as you can see here. Now I'm adding the leaves, for this I added a leaf node over the tubes node. By default this node adds a single leaf to each tube. To move all of them to the top of the tubes you need to change the first parameter to 1. Then I imported the leaf texture and its opacity image. Here I also checked the two-sided box. Then I created a mesh for this leaf. You can add as many vertices as you want but make sure to cover all the leaf image. The position of this yellow dot is the position where the leaf is going to start and the orange line the direction of it. I'm also adding tessellation to have more details when I deform this leaf. Make sure to not increase it too much. Then I drag the texture onto the leaf node. In the orientation tab you can change the orientation of the leaf. and in the skin tab its size. Now I'm adding detail to this leaves by changing the fold, curl and twist parameters which you can find on the orientation tab. I'm also adding randomness to this parameters. Now I duplicated the tubes node to make shorter tubes to cover the bottom part, and then I also duplicated the leaves node. Here I'm editing parameters like the height, start angle, roll and the generation of the first and last tube to add more variation. If you want to edit the parameters of a single tube you need to change to the node mode. Select the tube you want to edit and then press W to move it or press E to rotate it.
now the model is basically finished. Another thing you can do is change the brightness, contrast, saturation of your imported textures. This changes would be applied to your textures when you export them. And this is it, thanks for watching.